Hello everyone, welcome back to Salasta, Crown of the Magister. We're here in town and we have a few things left to do before we head out west to the swamp, which is going to be a very big deal. But while we're here in the city, we have a choice of killing sharp eyes, speaking to sharp eyes, or pickpocketing sharp eyes. Which to me basically says we have a choice of a conflict, a charisma check, or a pickpocketing check. Now, problem that we have with our party is that as much as we do have uh, plus four sleight of hand, plus three sleight of hand, plus four sleight of hand, and plus, seven, uh, plus four sleight of hand, no one is formally proficient in sleight of hand. So the last time we did a check to try and steal something from somebody, we did it at disadvantage, which is a terrifying prospect, even with plus four and guidance. It's not something that I really like the idea of. But then the other problem is we have deception plus four and then plus one and nothing and minus one and plus two and minus one. So if it's not a deception check on our charisma stuff, we also have big problems. But then we could also just have a fight, but that's going to annoy the Lord Protector, and I don't want to be in their bad books just yet. We'll probably get there, but I don't want to be there just yet. We could simply not do any of these things, but I think we're going to be better off at least picking one. So I think what I'm going to do is we're going to go to Arake and Spellcasting and Enhance Ability on charisma checks eagles splendor so we'll have advantage on our check what are we concentrating on eagles splendor did we do this in the last moments because uh, it seems that we must have done the come on brain the guy who was bullying people in the tavern we must have been doing that one. So, we still have the benefit of Charisma Advantage. So we could just try and do this now. It seems like there's really no better time for it. Because we can't cast Guidance and this spell because they both require Concentration. So, see what we can do. Tentatively. Lieutenant Sharp Eyes? It's me. We suggest that you insist upon getting your posting back home. Anywhere far from here would do, actually. What? How dare you? Um, we know you're a thief. We know you stole from the Lord Protector. Say that again and I'll kill you. All right. Our relation with the Dominion has gone down. This isn't going well, is it? Many people have a grudge against you. You should be careful. Are you threatening me? Oh, this is really going badly. Never mind. That's right. Get lost. Wow. They hated that. It's harsh, but you could go to Mario Brogard and tell her about the sharp what Sharp Eyes did. Stealing from the palace is a major offense, and she won't remain posted in Kehifrid for that sure. Obviously, solid proof would be useful to support your accusation. Well, we've just done a load of social damage to the Dominion. So, then the next option, I guess, is trying to pickpocket. We have a plus four on sleight of hand. I don't know if being invisible actually helps. We do have somewhere we've made another potion of invisibility. We can make more of them if we really want to. We need more refined oil and storm heather, but we can do it. We also have dust of disappearance. Um, and that has only one use duration for five minutes. So, what's the worst that happens? We get caught and we end up in a fight? 
perhaps. Yeah, advantage, disadvantage. Disadvantage, not proficient. Alright then. Why don't we, instead of this, if we go back to Marake, we can cast spell, enhance ability, uh, advantage on dexterity checks, cat's grace. So now it will just be a straight roll, I hope. Oh, that's gone incredibly well. Right, what are we doing with that? We have two of them. This seems unexpected. It's worth 500. That's nice. Uh, could we just check to see if it's magical? No, not magical. Don't know when we got a scroll of warding bond either. Okay, so we have those rings. What are we doing with them? That's a great question. Kill them, threaten them, denounce them, and we have uh, the rings to prove it. So where is Mariel Brograd? Probably up here? Yes. Right, let's then... If I go back to me, please. Uh, we're on this side of the city. We might as well climb the stairs. So, we found a resolution to this quest, even if we did have to piss some people off to do it. My panning and zooming is not quite perfect because I cut my finger and now I have a giant bandage on my middle finger, which obviously would normally be on W, but... It's a bit of a nightmare, so I'm making do with whatever else I have. Commander, what do you want to report something? This was in the hands of Lieutenant Sharp Eyes. Clearly, that's not hers. Lord Flameheart's ring? We will interrogate her. Move along. All right, we got back some of the stuff, some of the reputation. It now says we need to wait one day, so we might as well take that long rest. We get the spell slots we spent on the enhanced ability back, and we can also drop that skill if we don't, or drop the spell if we don't need it anymore. turned around to charge my phone and could not find the cable. Prepare spells. So, we can drop enhance ability. What else could we benefit most from? Create food saves us having to make food every time we go out and do something. Fair wounds in a pinch. We've got, we haven't got Prayer of Healing. Um, I'll take a Prayer of Healing. And we have nothing left to attune to. So, do we have a copy of that ring? Or did they both go? Seems like they both went. Okay, so we can't sell one for profit. Who wants to speak to us? Is it Henrik? Report to Henrik, rough diplomacy. Okay then, we can go through the teleporter right next to us. Can we? Or not? Can I fast travel there? No. Alright, this is a pain in the butt. Alright, we'll hop down through the courtyard then. 
see how well we are then rewarded for the quest. I still think we're a ways off level 6. Yeah, another 3,000-ish experience for that. It's going to be great when we get there, but not yet. The Henrik is right here. They are the one who was concerned with getting this guard out of town, apparently. I wonder if we'll get anything good for our trouble. Because, oh boy, this was more trouble than it felt like it was worth. Here we go. What do we got? Give it to me. We took care of your problem, Henrik. I heard the Lord Protector had sharp eyes executed. Malario Brogerard did, more like. Well, she's no altar girl, that one. Fine. Thanks for your help, friends. Oye, oye. All newcomers in the city. People are happy. We get 250 gold, 500 XP. That's a chunk of what we needed. Alright, so we've just long rested. That quest is done. Head collector is far too dangerous. Reach the forge base camp in the swamp. Catherine has asked you to go to the Felic outpost and raise a banner. Go to the swamp. Go to the swamp. Find the copy keys. So, I think it's probably about time we took a trip to the swamp, which is going to be a long journey. What's happening? Hello. Hey, friends, do you have a minute? Sure. I meant to say, someone from our community would like to speak with you. Someone important. It's Rhea, the cleric. We've been introduced, though we had no idea she was part of your organization. Well, we're just people helping each other, but Rhea is very active and well-respected. We'll talk to her then. And thanks again for your support, my friends. Stay in the light. All right, then. One more thing we oh, can yay. do before oh, escaping yay. town. A is that this person? Oh, God, fingers. That is rare, yep. Yeah, well, we gave you eight pams, so, you know. Hello. Clear skies. Rose sent us. It seems she looks up to you. Well, she trusted you enough to confide. As a cleric, I have to do more than just pray. The people of the valley need help against the tyrant. Orinetis? He's not evil, really. Probably just sick. He's not always been that way. Now he employs awful people to do his bidding. Like Malarial Brogorad. She lets her high elf guards treat us like we were Manakalan slaves. That's unacceptable. Indeed. One of our friends is being held and probably tortured in one of the Lord Protector's outposts. A military garrison? I know it's a lot to ask, but you've done so much already. If you can get him out without a slaughter, I'd be glad. But if there's no other way... Thanks a lot, friends. Okay. How are we going to get someone out of... A place like that. Which one? I don't even know which one the Felic outpost is. We still have Dust of Disappearance. It can be thrown and used on somebody else. So it might be the case that we use that on someone else in order to get them out. What do you have with regards to shopping, huh? We gained any particular crafting manual wand of the war mage plus one that sounds like a great thing to know i doubt we'll have the materials for it but if there's ever a chance i will take it let's learn that immediately primed wand and oil of acuteness I'm going to assume we don't have a primed wand. But if I can make it, oh boy, that is going to be incredible. Uh, crafting. Yeah, we do not have a primed wand. But man, now I want one. I'm going to guess you don't have primed weapons or primed ones at the least. 
No, nothing there. Maybe the cleric themselves might have it. Because a plus one wand as a plus one spellcasting focus for our cleric would be incredible. Uh, primed mace. Not under magic, is it? Restorative ointment. Heal self. Heal self. One charge. Two day plus two healing. Removes all occurrences of poisoned and disease. All right then. We're officially on the lookout for a primed wand. Okay. So this quest. What was it? Rhea asked you to save a citizen who is being tortured at the Felic outpost. Get there and free the prisoner by all means necessary. So all means necessary sounds like a great big fight. Which I'd rather avoid. But if we don't get any choice on the matter, then we don't get any choice on the matter. We also don't have to do that right now if we don't want to. Let's see what the map has to say. Currently, full health, full spell slots, and the rest. Well, that's the Gartis outpost. The Felig outpost. The conquest and the tortured. So that's hang a banner up for the mask and rescue the civilian in the same place. And then this is the trip out to the swamp. This would be... Only one day. I thought the swamp was much further west than that. All right. We will go to the Felig outpost. I'm not necessarily saying we'll have a big fight when we get there. But we'll go. Three days. Jeez. Oh, wait. Hold on. The route to the Felig outpost goes via the swamp. So, in that case, with that quest in hand and nowhere else to be specifically going around here, I guess we'll take a journey to the swamp. Uh, we'll go slow. One long rest over two days. And we'll see if we're attacked by anything horrendous on our trip. Knuckles carving some wood. Palm is exercising. We're resting. 6 a.m., 7 a.m., 8 a.m., we're on the move. Apparently, we're resting again. Okay, we're in. All right, we made it. Officially, definitely making more progress than the Warlocks did. All right, we've reached the swamp. We found the south exit, which is where we are right now. What time is it? Just gone 6pm. That's a terrible time for adventuring. We are stealthy. We are creeping towards whatever is ahead of us. We want to get to the camp. But I'm certain... There are problems before we get there. Hello, Orc, Berserkers, and Co. So, it looks like... there's a, Oh, there's the Shaman. It looks like at least a party of five. I would really like the Shaman to be dead first, because the spellcasting is what terrifies me the most. Empiric Touch, Fear, Revivify, Spirit Guardians. Spirit Guardians will definitely be something to concentrate on. But while we have advantage on a big spell, I think we just do one of these. I'm going to wait for this guy to walk over there before we do it. Actually, can I count? So, I can't really count how far away we are. 
like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven steps away, possibly. So if I can be a tiny bit closer without getting caught, just so that when the monks start the fight, or when the fight starts for the monks, we can close that gap more safely, or more efficiently, rather, that would be great. All right, that looks good. Can't see. Can't see them. All right, they're surprised, which is great. Looks like there's six of them. No idea how much health a Nork Berserker has. But that Shaman is nearly dead, and that is terrific. Surprised. Knuckle is up. Knuckle is going to go to here. We're going to have advantage on our first attack against this creature because of the Guiding Bolt. We don't need to Stunning Strike or anything just yet. Alright. The Shaman is dead. That's incredible. It also means we still have our Stealth. So... Oh, we don't have our stealth. Sorry, we were we were heard. But there's an archer and four berserkers. Uh, I'm going to go... This one still has a round of being surprised. Let's go flurry of blows. Solid. And again... Lovely. Palm is up. Palm is the way of survival. I was hoping for way of... Uh, palm, the way of the open hand to possibly knock the archer into the water. But right now, I think I'm just going to group up on this guy. Attack with our really big stick. Excellent damage. Second attack. We did less on a crit than we did on a non-crit, which just makes you sad. Um, I think just a regular attack might be enough to deal with that. It was not. But that's fine. They're surprised. They're surprised. Wrist. We go after the archer. That one can probably be killed fairly swiftly. If we flurry of blows, we can't take the dodge action as a bonus action, which would be a shame. Uh, the archer and... That guy at the back are still surprised. It's only these two that we really have to worry about imminently. So, let's run to here. I thought we said cautious. Right, then we're going to attack the archer. We hit on a 14. Oh, we don't need to worry about trying to shove them off. We can just hit them again. Another Excellent. Victory. Then we've got that Berserker passing and then these ones are up. So we are going to use power, patient defense as the one closest to everybody. They're surprised. Back to Marake. Right. What do we fancy? Probably, honestly, we push up to here. We cast Spirit Guardians. Proceed. And then get our shield out for the increased armor class. They're making strength checks against us and we're 
being stronger than them. They're failing to shove us down, it seems. Uh, we can join the party. Oh, you're still alive. That's on me. Alright, we miss on a 13. We hit on a 15, that's great. Let's go Flurry of Blows. And Stunning Strike. They stay up. They stay up again, unfortunately. Yeah, we need to finish this off. Good. Alright, four against three doesn't seem nearly as frightening. Flurry of blows should see the end of this berserker. Well, they are in the area of effect of the spell, so that spell should finish them off. They take 16 radiant damage from that one. They go reckless for advantage on all of their attacks. They crit us and knock us down. And that guy runs away. Interesting. Well, we'll go after them then, because all of our, our attacks will be an advantage against them. Uh, we have four. Let's go Stunning Strike on these. They are very strong, but getting one of them down would be great. There you go. Nat one on their check means they are stunned. Well, they're dead anyway, so, you know. Swings and roundabouts. This one, last one to join the party. They fail a shove. Uh, Marake. We don't really need to try and hit this guy. So we'll go after the other one. Will we? Mm. Fine, just hit your sword over here. Victory. And then we'll stand there to make sure they're in the area of effect. And by this point, it's basically a sure thing that we're going to be fine. Obviously, there is a chance that we just roll 25 nat 1s in a row, but seems unlikely. Just bad luck. Honestly, game, don't do that to me. Whoa -ho! Strike with advantage after taking the Flurry of Blows action with Way of Freedom. We're going to run all the way around here just so we don't have to attack them through a fence because that fence is giving them higher armor class. Let's just do a bonus action attack. Alright, then wrist is up. Wrist. Oh, uh, we could stand there. They've already had their attack of opportunity against one of the others. Gotcha. Alrighty. That's done. Let's just clear up the battlefield as swiftly as we can. That Spirit Guardians is good for 10 minutes. So we can either. Take a short rest and get all our key points back, or we can not take a short rest and keep the spirit guardians going with a spell slot. That is basically our decision right now. I think we'll probably be okay for a little while. Let's cast a ranged attack on this tree to knock that down. And then someone can go and check out that rock. Anything else we can see on the map? Nope. Then the rest of the party is going to need to get over there anyway. In the rock we find Abyss Moss. 
Then it's just lots of hopping, skipping, and jumping. Alright, I'm going to get cautious. Is there another fight to be had here, or are we just getting up on the cliffside? Some rocks. Shiny rocks. See anyone? Looking reasonably safe. Go on, everyone. You can do it. Why are you going so slow to this rock? You're not overburdened, are you? No. You're fine. Right, serpent tonight. A barrel. In the barrel, we have some food and ingredients. Take all of that. I'm going to put Marake back at the top of the party. That's no bother. There's a skeleton there. There's a root over there. This looks like a gate or an entryway. Prime blast plate. Remarkable crossbow bolts. Studded leather. Magnificent crossbow. A heavy raid. Let's read that. A heavy raid. Hasdrubal. One of our patrols reporting an orc raiding party has settled in the old fort. You know the one. They are using it as a base to raid through the swamp as well as to strike targets near the city, which of course brings unwanted attention in our direction. Please send someone to convince them to move them away. Or just murder them, I'm sure. Alright, I'll fetch whatever this route is while I'm here. And you guys really are just moving slow right now, aren't you? Alright. Let's get back to a decent pace if we could, please. A sneaky pace, but a decent one. There's some moss up there. I'm not going to worry about moss for a hot second. Tiny bridge. And rangers from the forge, which is who we're looking for. We found the forge camp. Welcome, visitors. How did you find us? Telerian sent us. We met near the waterfall. Did he give you something for me? The package? Yes. Oh, it's the... I think it's the plus two intelligence book. But obviously, if you've got like a wizard or something, you might want to hold on to it. But for us, we can give that go. up. Many thanks. Happy to be of service. Well... Feel free to use our services. Thanks. All right, the safety of camp, huh? We have an alliance now with the forge. What have we missed? I'll take the flowers and the crafting stuff. I don't need another Badlands 8 pelt. I'll take the darts. You can keep the swords and the short bows. Sell all of that. Uh, Handro Mudstrider is the trader here, it seems. I would love to see if you have a primed wand. That's why I came to you. Right. You do not have an identify service. Bunch of armor. Magic stuff. Horn of blasting. Cloak of ubiquity. Is that for warlocks? Yeah. Cast Dimension Door, one charge. That's cool. Uh, the Amendment. Requires short attunement from Warlocks. Cast Mage Armor at will. Braces of Stunning Strike. While wearing these braces, you gain plus one bonus to the DC of your Stunning Strike. Requires attunement by a monk. That sounds incredible. Sash of Transmutation. Key Healing at will. 1d8 plus two healing. 
for key points. That also sounds incredible. Spellbooks, Scroll of Greater Restoration. Amulet of Health. Your constitution is 19 while you wear this amulet. Also sounds incredible. Loads of great stuff. And it's all very expensive. Uh, I can't help but notice you do not have a primed wand. Crafting Manual of Scimitar of Acuteness. Amulet of Pure Souls. No idea what that is. Bunch of crafting components. Plain weaponry. Alright, I really want a lot of this stuff. Let's sell the Braces of Sparkling. Assuming that's what they are. If they're not, then we have a problem. Um... I thought I identified these. Maybe it was on one of those occasions where things crashed horribly. Uh, we wield a light crossbow. I don't know if we can wield a magnificent crossbow or not. We can get rid of that. We can get rid of that. Primed breastplate. I mean, we can get rid of all these for sure. 111 gold more. Reorder that. What else do we have? We already have a plus one breastplate, so I think we can get rid of a primed breastplate because we're not going to be crafting one for a good while anyway. Yeah, that's plain, that's plain, that's plain. I thought someone had picked up plus one leather armor, but we might have sold that to Hennick or somebody. Scimitar, get rid of that. Did I miss some, like, shiny stuff? No, that's primed. We want the ingredients, the acid. All right. Let's just continue taking a little poke around, especially because it's safe here. I will ritual cast this just in case I missed anything, though I don't think I did. And there are a bunch of chests that we can attempt to pick. I'm assuming it will just do whoever has the best skill for it. But we can actually do it this way. Cast spell guidance. Uh, concentration loss on spirit guardians. Try and pick this. We're in. Holy Amulet, a Rapier, and a Tree of Death Letter. Tree of Death Letter. While on patrol, Garrel camped near the big tree with his troops in the morning. Everyone was dead except one sentry with, who neither saw nor heard anything. We had just word from the merchants who had set up camp near the same tree, and their sentry tells an identical tale. That sounds like a dangerous time. Let's try this one as well. Oh. Stay away from the prisoner. Why are you keeping a giant as a prisoner? Pastor Bell's orders. Yes, this giant is too smart to go free. And too dangerous. If you don't want to kill him, you should set him free. It's cruel to keep him there. Oh, nice. Fine, he walks. But I'll hold you responsible if he hurts anyone. How did I have advantage on that check is a great question. Thank you, little ones. You're welcome. I need to go home. Have things to tell. I see you at our camp in Valley. All right. Small victories. Uh, thieves tools check I do not see the um... brain I do not see the charisma check we just made but that's fine right we were just exploring this place I wanted to look at this chest we're going to need to do guidance again fresh I think Uh, 
Uh, a big warhammer, some javelins, and a longbow. Try this one. Oh, wait, we're no longer guided. Guide me again. I think in Baldur's Gate it just lasts for a minute, but here it's just once, which I think is technically the correct way it should go. Alright, we fail that. Now we can't attempt it again. So we'll have to worry about that in a different manner later. There's one more there. There's a fire there. Forge druid, a forge scout. Great big stone. More stones near the prison, but I don't think they matter too much right now. Um, anything else? Let's try this last chest then. Then we can probably call it a day after we see what mysteries are within. Or fail again, one of the two. Good. A sword, a shield, and a dangerous guest. Giants are too powerful to be left wandering around, and besides, this one knows the location of our camp. Capture the creature and keep it in chains until further notice. I mean, that doesn't seem like something we needed in a letter like that. All right, I'm going to take this moment to sell all the stuff we just found, because there's all kinds of stuff in those chests that we don't need. So, hammer, rapier, short sword, javelins, longbows... Strange letters that we don't need for anything. I want to get those identified, but you don't have that as a service, which is really annoying. And not having identify is equally annoying. Just see. Not that we use the crossbow often. But. This is a plus one. 1d8 plus 1 damage. And we can wield it. What about the bolts? So, currently, this is 1d8 plus 3 damage. This is 1d8 plus 4 damage on plus 7 to hit. So if we really, really want to get going with something, especially if we want to poison a bolt, that's going to be our best option. So with that in mind, we can then sell the light crossbow the spare for seven gold. Then we're just holding on to a lot of spare stuff, really. All right, that is plenty enough for today. Thank you guys ever so much for watching. If you're enjoying the series, please do consider subscribing or hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, you can put those down below. Otherwise, I will see you in the next one. Cheers.